Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Retro, Monster Rancher Advance 2. Classic game on the Game Boy Advance. I personally love it. I'm going to start a new game. Welcome to the Age Monster Association. Please enter your name. So this is a game based on an anime as far as I know. I don't know if the series came out first on the games and then the anime was based on the games or vice versa. But I personally remember the anime. That anime was fun. It's kind of like Pokemon meets archaeology because you had a basically archaeological digs to find these ancient discs. And if you put the disc in a shrine, then the disc would spin around sort of like a game disc spinning in a PlayStation 1. Cough, cough, because that's what happens in the anime. Cough, cough. Um, it would basically spawn a monster out of that disc that was the monster that was living inside the disc and that monster would become your friend from you summoning it or it could become your enemy if you mistreated it but point is that's how the monsters were born and this game took that similar aspect but changed it up a bit your new name your, oh, your new name your name is a tomb a tomb now you're a real breeder Congratulations. Chairman Mardok of Agima will be here shortly. Thank you for waiting. Mmm, let's try flashbacks. Congratulations, Atum. I know things might get rough sometimes, but work hard and raise some monsters. I'd like to introduce you to your assistant. This is Holly. Hi, I'm Holly. How do you do? Holly was a breeder in Fimba until recently. She's talented and popular, top of her class. She'll be your assistant, but your senior, too. You don't have to say that, Mr. Mardok. That's in the past. Hmm, are you sure? But you're a famous breeder. Why wouldn't... No, I've thought about it a lot. I want to start again from scratch. That's why I got involved with Agima. Pay no attention to any of that, Atum. I don't know about you, or that Fimba. Oh, or that Fimba chairman, Mr. Carnab, either. After all your heart training. But, oh well. You're lucky to get such a great assistant. Doom, we have high hopes for you. Now, about a ranch for you. I managed to find you a great location. Thank you very much. I hope you like it. Maybe once you've set settled, you can remodel the barn. We at Agima will be behind you all the way. Good luck. Atum, I didn't want to stress you. I hadn't planned on saying anything for a while about the fact that I used to be a reader. Anyway, let's take it one step at a time. Let's go to the shrine and decide on a monster. So, this is where I was mentioning about the whole shrine regeneration thing. Hello? Yes, who is it? Nice to meet you, I'm Holly, an assistant. And this is a new rancher, Atum. The pleasure's mine, I'm Bullzoy. The supervisor of the Age Shrine. <clears throat> I'm gonna figure out a voice for this man. Kinda... British? I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Is this your first monster regeneration? Yes it is. How does it work? Allow me to explain. In this place is the Monster Shrine of Age. We have all the equipment to create monsters. Let me tell you about the ways to regenerate monsters here on Age. In tablet regeneration, you create monsters by using the words inscribed on tablets. Wow, I've heard about tablet regeneration. It's totally different from Fimba's and Ima's saucer stone regeneration. That's the game reference. What's that? You're familiar with Fimba's and Ima's systems. Huh? Well, uh, I used to be with Fimba. This system is actually rather unique. It was developed by Agima, you see, so... <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, yes. According to my experience, different words produce monsters with quite different characteristics. Try many tablets to find a monster you like. Enter any word you like on the tablet and raise the monster from it. Book regeneration is a way of bringing back monsters you've already created. Start with the tablet method for now. Thank you for the lesson. Now, let's create a monster. So, this is tablet regeneration. Monsters regenerated from tablets with too many characters are dangerous for beginners. You'll receive permission when your breeder rank increases. Until then, you can only create a few characters. You'll start with four. 
Oh, these few characters, I should say. Please, tell me the characters on your tablet. So, this is the fun part. You could say different words and create different monsters. And uh, it doesn't, of course, have to be real words, just any four characters put together. I will now regenerate your monster. So, using zoom, I get... Ooh, Siangaru! Ooh, that's good to know. What a cool monster. Like your first monster of this type. Now you put a new page in the book. Will you take this monster home with you? No, actually. I want a regular Gyaru. Uh, I gotta remember if I... Thing is, back when I was a kid, I used to have a book full of different words that I tried to see if I could remember, or basically get my own book system going. Keep note of what monsters came out of which words. So I did four combination, five combination. Look, see? I remembered nope was one. I just don't think it was supposed to be that one. What a cool monster. Looks like your first monster of this type. Let me put a new page in the book. Will you take this monster home with you? No. So while that is a base Gyaru, the thing is, it's like this maybe? Try that. I will now regenerate your monster. Yes! There it is. Uh, I say Gyaru, it's Garu. What a cool monster! Like your first monster of this type, let me put a new page in the book. I will be taking Garu home with me. Um. I spelled Gara's name wrong now I think about it because I haven't spelled that name in a hot minute. Let me see. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> this is G-A-A-R-A. -A -A. I'm an idiot. Disown me, Narutards. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I brought a monster along as a coach, and I'd like to decide I'd like you to decide what kind of training it should supervise it to. You can take care of the details at Agima. Would you remember to do that then? So here's the cool thing. You've got the studio, which is basically your PC. Let's first finish all preparations. Okay, so I have to go to Agamemnon. Yep, 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 thank you for registering. We're glad to have you here with us in H. We hope you do well. Here, we deal with things like assigning training types to coaches, new contracts with coaches, and retirement of monsters. We already had the one monster with a contract, so we just want to reassign his training type. No problem. Please choose a training type. So we're going to do charge. Here, you can choose what type of training the coach you registered will do. If you don't assign it a training type, you won't be able to use that monster as a coach on the ranch. Coaches can be assigned to do as many training types as its coach points will allow. These coach points vary for each coach. Which type of training will you assign? Alright, so let's do Smash Up. Oh, it has four coach points. Okay, so we can do four trainings. Let's do... One. Let's see, that's increased power. Increase accuracy. Increase speed. Increase life. Alright, I'll explain the stats in a minute. So, the arrows obviously indicate what stats are going to be increased and decreased. So, the bigger the arrow, the more stat is increased or decreased. This would increase your power greatly, and increases your defense slightly, but lowers your intelligence slightly. This one, same thing for accuracy, intelligence, and speed. Uh, defense, power, speed. Intelligence, accuracy, defense. Speed, intelligence, defense, and then life. Life being your health. So, you got all those stats there, which is pretty nice. Now, you can buy new coaches through here. So, you can register new coaches or contract them. Well, register would be registering your monster as a coach. And then contract is getting a new one. We look forward to seeing you again. I'm not going to do all that stuff now. So you can go to the studio. Ah, it's your first time here, isn't it? 
Welcome to the Monster Studio, I'm Camwall. Here, you can do things like temporarily freeze your monster or combine it with another. Please stop by whenever you want to drop off a monster or pick one up. So, like she said, or like I said earlier, this is your PC system. You can freeze your monster to save them for later, you can revive them to use them out in battle now, or you can combine them and fuse into different monsters. That's what I was saying, the Siangar the Siangaru and the uh, Picked. Those are fusion versions of Garu. This is the base. Now, let's go ahead and head to our ranch. There is a hospital here, so you go there if you want to, you know, see what's wrong with your monster or just get a health checkup in general. I forgot, like, things happen in the square. I just don't remember what. You could buy better ranches there. Take Gara back to the ranch? Yes. Wow, what a great place. We should be able to train Gara here just fine. It'll be hard work, but let's keep at it. Uh, yes? I'm the mail carrier. A tomb's ranch is this address, right? Yes, that's right. You're Holly, aren't you? Welcome to age. I'm Ayase. I'm a great fan of yours. Thank you. I'm going to... <clears throat> Thank you. I'm going to be at Tomb's assistant here for a while. A tomb. I'll be rooting for you from now on. I'll tell you if I hear anything useful. Oh yes, a little tip from the mail carrier. Please accept all the invitations and notices when they arrive. You may miss important events. Thank you very much. So, here's the cool thing. This game system is time-based, in a sense. You have a weekly, a monthly, and a daily thing. Well, not daily, technically. It's weekly. So, you see how it says 1 there? That tells you the year. And then it says the first week of April. All trainings take the first week, and all battles take a week. So, you gotta keep that in, you know, in accordance. Sparring, if I remember correctly, takes a whole month. And then resting also takes a week. You can also give your monsters items here if you have any. So go to the shop, you can buy your items here. You're new here. I'm Crow, the owner. I'm proud of the variety in this store. It's nice meeting you. So, you see, you can buy honey candy, oily oil, nitro berries, mint leaves, mint candy. And the new gelatin diet weed, Dodorin, and then a meat slab. Um, you can buy a whole bunch of food and stuff here. See you later. Or you could use items if you have any. And you hit battles. This tells you when the battle is going to happen. Battles are sorted by rank, so E rank is the lowest. Uh, Reliance actually tells you how obedient your monster would be in terms of if they'll actually listen to you or not. If you, don't, if you have a low reliance, well, unfortunately, they're not going to listen to you. That's the D rank. This is C. This is B. A. And then S is the highest tier. If you actually make it to S rank, there is a higher tournament rank. There's like a specific tournament that you have to beat in the game at the very end. And it unlocks like the highest rank in the game type of thing and all this other stuff. It, it can make for a really difficult time. But if you get all the way up there, you can fight some really fun monsters. Now, technically, that would be the quote-unquote end game type of thing, but the game really has no end. It's just cyclical, and you just keep playing and playing and playing. It's just there's no more story events after that. I digress. The game is still fun, and, you know, I love it. So, for now, we're just going to go through training. We're going to do the first battle tournament that shows up. Mm, I want to increase my accuracy, because I got a feeling you suck at aiming. Oh god, you completely whiffed it. I did not mean to press uh, A. You can actually skip it. You wanna scold it? Yes. You can do better this time. God, it looks pretty lively. Mm, I'm gonna rest for now. Like our rest this week? Yes. Only because I know the tournament's coming up. So I wanna, I wanna hop into it. God, it looks really energetic. Let's go ahead and do the battles. I'll do my best. Yeah, loyalty is so low they might not listen to commands. That's expected. I usually wouldn't recommend doing this, but I'm gonna YOLO it anyway. Firming with useful power, we have plenty of new monsters this year for your delight. How will they do in their first time in the ring? Let the youth cup begin! A tomb, we gotta aim for the top. So, Gara versus Iris, and then Pointy versus James. Here's the cool thing. Tournaments are set up in one of two fashions, as far as I can remember. You got your normal tournament bracket style entries, like so. And then you have round robins. 
Uh, Robins are tough, but you do get to fight through everybody. And it's not an immediate game over if you lose. This is your typical elimination style tournament. So you can check out stats about the enemy. So Alliance 38, so they're likely to do their thing. Their traits tell you what kind of um, power-ups they get and stuff like that. This tells you their, their level of their stats. And then their actual moves. Now you can have two sets of moves. Page 1 and page 2. Page 2 is set up like so. Page 1 is this stuff. So you got your near range moves, mid range, and far range. Her power is kind of low compared to her intelligence, so I need to keep her in near to mid range. So that's the fun thing about this game. The actual moves you use are based on how close or how far you are away from the monster. Now, where it says guts, what that means is basically it's your mana. And if you get hit by a move, you lose guts. It costs you guts too. You see where it says guts down? That's when you're attacking somebody else, it'll make them lose guts. So the higher the guts down is, the easier it is for you to just continually wail on them. But I digress. The guts where it says 21 down there, that's the cost to you, how much guts it costs to use that move. But I'm gonna just go into the match and show you what it looks like. Do you want to give Gara orders? Yes, because you can actually choose not to give them orders and they'll just battle on their own. Okay, stay on your toes, Atum. But I wouldn't recommend that early. Like, once you get later on in the game, then yeah, maybe. Okay, this is going to be rough because I got garbage accuracy and garbage obedience. Wild Slash. And I missed. Of course. Hmm. Fire up. I missed again. Oh, boy. Fire up, come on. One of them's got a hit. Ooh, got kicked in the face. Come on, hit Iris. Oh, thank you. Hmm, got slapped. Oh man, I'm gonna lose this, aren't I? Oh crap, baskets. I'm gonna lose this. I'm actually gonna lose this. Yeah, I'm about to lose. Yep, that's it. Time's up. Mmm. Yeah, no, I had less life than her. So unfortunately, I lost. Iris wins the round. And then, pointy. Next up is deciding for third. Well, Let's try it. Yeah, the first tournament that you go into is pretty rough, especially if you get unlucky like that. I usually try to avoid the first one, just to change stats. But, I figured getting some battle EXP in might as well be useful. Hmm. good tactic to do is wait for the monster to try and attack you and if they're addled like that you can swing on them for free. Poker ring? Okay. You. There we go. That takes care of that. At least I came in third. I'll take it. Yeah, you know, not the best placing but I'll take it. I'll take it. Iris wins the round and she wins the tournament. Oh well, I'll take it. Here are the results of the tournament. Yeah, I get no prize money for that. That's unfortunate. Oh, good. Got some popularity. Gar improved some with today's battle. Speed went up and power went up. Okay, it's not bad. The tomb didn't do too well, but it did its best, right? Yeah, you tried, buddy. Alright. Gar is tired. So, I'm actually leaving the episode off here, though. Because I know... Early on, you get a lot of scripted stuff to happen. So I don't want that stuff to happen right now. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro Monster Rancher Advance. And next time, I'll actually make sure I go through a lot more. But you can do a lot of stuff in this game. 
and just so, like I mentioned earlier, you know, training takes a week. You got all these trainings here that are self-taught, but then you have your coach trainings in here. So you can do a lot more stuff in the game, and I'll explain a lot more of that stuff in the next episode when I actually go through them as I, you know, come across them. So, other than that, guys, I'll catch you all here next time on Let's Retro Monster Rancher Advance 2. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what kind of four-letter words you could think of that I could use to try and use get some monsters in here. So, other than that, guys, leave those words in the comments down below. Like today's episode if you like it. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew. And also, hit that notification bell. That way, whenever I drop a brand new episode, you guys are already up to date. Hope you all have a great and wonderful day.